What do you think about the characters on Hollywood Boulevard? I think they're great, man. The kids love them. The older people love them. People come here for thousands of miles to see this. There's a lot of them and they're really crazy, like really crazy, maybe even on a few things. Oh, they're really great, we love them and uh, they're really fun and we're glad they're here. There are many. Uh, let's see, we got the Michael Jackson guy that's over here. He's good, one of them is good, one of them is pretty bad. Um, we got a guy in a wheelchair that dresses like a monkey, he's good. He's hilarious in fact. And there's another guy, oh, there's another guy that stands here with a whistle. Paints himself tin and he won't move even for the little kids unless they give him a quarter. Sad, but it's fun. But come out here, you'll have a lot of fun. I see you shiver with anticipation. But maybe the rain is really to blame. So I'll remove the cause, but not the symptom. Don't get strung out by the way I look. Don't judge a book by its cover. There you go. Hey guys, we're out here in LA. And it's time for you to meet the characters of Hollywood Boulevard. Let's go. Why is the rum always gone, Captain? Who's your daddy now? Grab it, Teddies! I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready! <laughs> rum, it's all about rum, pirates. Not gold, not women. It's all about rum. I'm gonna rip you in half. No, you better not do that. Uh, I'm doing all right, motherfucker. How you doing? Yeah, Hollywood, baby! Try. Right back. <laughs> you think you fit the character well? This, this is what you wanted to be? Yeah, I'm, I like Superman, but I don't know. Sometimes it's hard because I can't fly. You know, you can, but I will. That's fly. right. You know what is the problem with Superman? He's always jumping. <laughs> wow. Hello, beautiful. Let me show you how I got him. Say what again? Go ahead, I dare you. I'm as dark as ever. Thanks for asking. There you go. Ladies, I love you. Hi. Right. Ladies, I love you. There you go. First of all, you just called me Peter Parker, so I mean, that says enough. <laughs> I'm just uh. kidding, dude. No. Okay, no, it's not. Okay. Yeah, you go. Yeah, yeah. And you will know my name is the law when I lay my vengeance upon you. You just dropped this when you're running away. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Ah, uh, no problem. Okay, so we have a couple questions for you, real quick. Yes. First question is, why did you choose this character? Honestly, I didn't even know, dude. Though there were so many Spider-Men out here, I just randomly picked one. You know. Uh, I chose the Bumblebee costume because uh, I always liked the Transformers. I learned to dance because of Michael Jackson, the way his style and stuff like that. So it's just amazing, you know. Well, to be honest, Bob. Kind of just landed on my face, if you know what I'm saying. All I can say is, I am who I am. And once you go black, you don't ever go back. I really didn't know anything about my character till I did it. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> but I like my nose. <laughs> it's a secret, but I'm gonna tell you. Because the ladies love it. Love it. And what do you think about Mark Wahlberg coming out in the new movie? I think he's got a good enough of a supporting cast with him. And they got a lot of new elements in this new movie, like they're bringing Dinobots in and a new character. That I think that'll help it out. Darth Vader, how you doing today? I'm doing wonderful, and that's Hollywood Darth Vader to those at home. We know you might be affiliated with Chris, the Superman. What's been one of your favorite moments out here? Well, I'm not affiliated with him, and one of my favorite moments out here, as could be seen on Jimmy Kimmel, Hollywood Darth Vader's favorite holiday memories. You can see that on Google, and it tells the story. I like that. That brings me to my next question. What do you think of Jimmy Kimmel? Oh, I love Jimmy Kimmel. He's my buddy. He's my best friend. Yeah, nobody but not standing about him, too, because he got me a new costume after I got beat up, too, by them two girlies, too. What do you think of Jimmy Kimmel? I love the guy. Funny as one could ever be. Uh, Jimmy, 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 Jimmy. I think, yeah, I remember Jimmy. Jimmy, we had the drink last night, right? Is that you? Yeah, I think. You know, and next time, I swear, I'll pay. Um, I, I have no opinion 
about Jimmy Kimmel. I don't really watch the show, so I, I'm more of like a Leno fan. I think Jimmy Kimmel is a mushroom cloud laying motherfucker. He's real. He's pretty cool. Overall, he does call us bums sometimes, though, which isn't too cool. He uh, kind of makes fun of us out here, says we're homeless. Trying to make us look good, not so good, but... Oh, Jimmy, I love his show. He's hilarious. Who? Wait, Jimmy Kimmel? Yes. Oh, Jimmy Kimmel. Oh. oh, the guy's a jerk. It's amazing he still has that building, to be honest with you. Jimmy Kimmel? Oh, yes. Nice guy. Nice guy. Yeah. Jimmy Kimmel, honestly, man, I've heard about him a lot out here. You know, I've seen his show a couple of times. He's pretty cool, dude. Please answer honestly. What do you think of Jimmy Kimmel? Bullshit. Bullshit. And last question here. What do you think about Jimmy Kimmel? Cut. Cut the video. Cut, cut the video. <laughs> All right, guys, that wraps up our two-day shoot out here on Hollywood Boulevard. One thing to take away from this video is that there's no doubt that these characters add to the brand of Hollywood and really bring something out in the children and tourists that walk these streets. Thank you.